This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And now the first one after WrestleMania is Money in the Bank. Okay, so there they just changed the the names. Okay. Now they're doing it in May. Oh man, I tell you, here comes Matt. You love Matt. Yes, I do. I'm I'm telling you, I I thought, and I think you would agree, uh, that the Lucha Underground did a great job as a play by play guy, and I work with him MLW sometimes, and I thought he and I worked together very, very well. He's got a new show uh coming to Fox. Oh, it's a reality show. Oh, wow. Yeah. About having, That's... about having a baby. About having a baby. Yeah. Okay. What is it is like his about he and his wife. I didn't well, write I mean... the shit, Tony. I don't know. Well, then why'd you, if you don't know, why'd you fucking bring it up? Just putting it over. It's a new show <laughs> called labor of love. You fucker. On Fox. <laughs> Welcome to labor of love. You fucker. <laughs> it premieres uh, Thursday, May 21st. I've never seen it. Cause you know, it hasn't okay. aired. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to send a, I'm going to send a text to Matt wish him Well, I think the gimmick is it's like the bachelor. Okay. Except instead of looking for love, you're looking mm-hmm. for a baby daddy. And I, oh. think, I think Matt is trying to prove that he'd be a good baby daddy on the show. Okay. Well, see, you knew, and then you kayfabe me. No, I just read it while I was on the show okay. with you. Like okay. you ordered t-shirts. Okay. Uh, uh, should we track this? I mean, I, this no. is kind of interesting here. No, you should just make fun of it and, and use okay. your voices. Okay. Let's do that. Then I'm standing out here in this Argyle sweater. I was at one time a school teacher. Yes. And I'm going to bring you out here right on the board and tell you guys exactly how that fucking angle that we just saw came about. We have to die, but boo, boo. No, don't boo me. We have to diagram that shitty angle here on the board just to show you how it does in the writer's room. Behind me, I have a board with my name. My name's on top because I'm going over. That's how it happens. Matt Stryker is going over. Then everything else below that does not fucking matter to me. We let a bunch of fucking goofs who have never seen a wrestling match before, who just writers out of college come and say, well, let's see, Matt's on top. Matt will go over. Let's what, what can we put underneath of it? Okay. We'll draw a little line here and underneath of it, we will say someone takes a rod and shoves it up his ass. Okay. Now, if he does that, then how is Matt going to go over? Well, let's bring out a guy to explain it to us right now. Here comes, uh, Eugene. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Is this Norman? A uh, skinny Norman? You don't know about the Eugene? Lo- uh, n- uh, I, I did look him up. I know he's been wrestling for quite a while. It's real life Nick Dinsmore, but Eugene is a character that's loosely based on a real person who oh. has special needs, whose uh, dad would always bring him to the shows. And he's oh. Eric Bischoff's kayfabe nephew. And uh, I think he's going to talk and we'll track it here. Oh, God. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Do you see this, Kentucky? This is a perfect reason, regardless of how tempted you may be, to not marry your cousin. Oh. Eugene, I'm, I'm going to take a hypothesis, which means an educated guess. You're probably confused right now, aren't you? You see, Eugene, I brought you out here to make an example out of you. You may very well be the smartest person from the state of Kentucky, and yet I'm willing to bet that you can't even spell your own name. <laughs> I'm willing to... What's that? Oh, oh, you can spell your name? Okay. I'll tell you what, Eugene. I've got a piece of chalk. It's a pretty piece of chalk. Why don't you take this chalk, prove me wrong, Prove to me that people in Kentucky aren't inbred and illiterate. 
Why don't you write your name on my blackboard? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, good. This you know, nice. I don't have any idea what Ashley Judd sees in you people. <laughs> and frankly, she's, she's getting kind of old, but that's an entirely different lesson. I'll tell you what. Time's up, time's up. Eugene, what do you say that you show all these people exactly how you spell your name? Go ahead, show that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Matt Stryker loves poop. <laughs> I do not love poop. You 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 love poop. Eugene, this is disrespectful. And second of all, poop isn't even a word. Oh. And you shouldn't capitalize it. Oh. And there's no period there. Are you picking your nose? Oh, I think he's rolling it, JR. Oh, he is rolling. Oh. Listen to me, okay, forget all of this. If there's one thing that you and all these people take away from tonight, it's that you do not pick your nose and then attempt to eat it. Do you understand me? All right. Do you hear the words coming out of my mouth? Do I make uh. myself clear? You have a strong opinion about them making Eugene eat a booger? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, this show has completely this gone. Down, okay? and I oh, geez, gone to shit. He put the booger in Matt Stryker's mouth. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That's better. That's better. So there you go. There's your Eugene segment. Let right me, before your main event. Let me tell you what, uh, Mm. Ron Alvarez wrote about this. Yeah, please. A segment aired with Matt Stryker and Eugene. I want my money back. <laughs> well said. What White Keller wrote Matt Stryker came to the ring for a buffer match before the main event. He ran down Kentucky, then brought out Eugene. He said, Eugene might be the smartest person from the state of Kentucky, mm -hmm. but he can't even spell his own name. Eugene added likes poop to Matt Stryker's name on the chalkboard. Striker became upset, then became fixated on snot. Eugene picked from his nose. Eugene stuffed it down Striker's mouth and hit him with a stunner. Eugene took off. Striker gave chase. I like Brian Alvarez's recap better. <laughs> look look at JR. <laughs> Can you imagine what he's thinking? <laughs> <laughs> that pushing his hands away like that, that's him in real life. Mm. Oh, this. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh God, God and eating boogers yep. only one show. Yep. Oh, and, uh, Vince walking on water mm -hmm. and, uh, turning water into wine. Yep. Making loaves and fish appear, having a holy mackerel, mm -hmm. uh, later promising tonight after the show to use her mouth for mm. private sex. Because mm. unlike these fans, she gets some. Mm. And Vince, uh, Candace getting fondled. Yep. He healed her breasts, her voluptuous breasts. Mm -hmm. This is real life stuff, man. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.